Mr. Sams, I was uh, watching Iron Man Hawaii a couple of weekends ago. Yeah, it's like the Super Bowl for you triathlon. Oh, people, I watched huh? it all day. But an interesting thing happened. Actually, it wasn't this year, but a, a few years back. Is that the winner of the race, or, or, or a guy who was winning the race, he wasn't the winner, as you'll find out, um, he collapsed during the run. It was, there was two guys, very, very amazing runners, who uh, swam 2.4 miles, biked 112, and now we're in the middle of their marathon. And uh, the guy who'd won the previous year just basically collapsed. Turns out he got kidney stones. Yeah. In the middle of the Ironman um, triathlon, fun. and I think that has something to do with double replacement reactions. It does kidney actually. Stones. Yeah. How do kidney stones work? Well, uh, kidney stones are calcium oxalates. So what happens is you have calcium ions in your body, okay. lots of them. Yeah, okay. yeah. Your, Bones your, and such. Yeah, yeah, and your cells need them yeah. for all that sorts of fun things. And then the oxalate ion, um, it's kind of a byproduct in a lot of metabolic processes okay. so um, actually uh, if you take too much vitamin C you can actually build up oxalate ions in, okay. your, in your body and then the oxalate joins with calcium and it forms this solid precipitate and then that's what you get is your kidney stones these calcium oxalate chunks in your kidneys so you get these little chunks and they're inside your kidneys and yeah. that that's and very then, very painful and then I they, they got to get out so and they have to just yeah come out through the appropriate pipes and those pipes aren't very wide in their aperture so exactly it's very painful i understand so mm -hmm. he didn't finish the race sadly Yikes. and the other guy won the race so mm. interesting so chemistry applies to your life and yeah, that's cool isn't it it is all right cool okay the table guys that you're going to want to use that uh, a lot of is this thing called the solubility table yeah. so this should be taped in the back of your comp book or made available you can print this up i don't know whatever but this is a very important table that you're going to use as we uh, work through yeah the so in the, in the single replacement reactions you use the Activity, uh, activity series, series mm -hmm. of metals table and the double replacements to use the solubility. Now, table. in this table, we should kind of make a quick note here. Mm -hmm. What do each of these symbols represent, Mr. Uh, AQ is aqueous. That means it's soluble in water. So that means it doesn't, it's not chunky. It's, right, it doesn't form a solid. Uh, okay. S forms a solid, meaning it will make a precipitate, just yep. like we saw um, when we uh, demonstrated this in 4.1. Right. That yellow solid was a precipitate. NE means it does not exist. Okay. That's, so that's just three things. Yeah, and there are, there's an L in here somewhere, too, I think, oh, actually, liquid. Actually, for water right here. For water. Actually, oh, there one, it is, in yeah. In one case, we can make water when you put hydrogen with hydroxide. Yep. All right, so th the way this works is if I have barium bromide right here in this table, it is an aqueous substance. Right. So when you're trying to figure out what the, su the state of matter of a substance, if it's, look it up. if it's in water, you look it up on the table. Yeah. Okay, good. That's not too bad. So, on double replacement reactions, this is the reaction, as you recall, A, B plus C, D. So you have two couples, they go to the dance, and mm -hmm. they trade partners. Yep. Okay. And now, this is, the big question is, does the reaction even occur? Right. There are three tests that you have to determine whether or not the reaction will take place. First of all, both reactants must be AQ. So if reactant A has to be AQ and AQ. If one of them is an S or an NE, it does not work. Right. Okay, so we're trying to decide. So you kind of have to meet all of these criteria. Number two, at least one product must be S or L. Okay. So this product, if this is S and this is AQ, you're good. It works. If they're both AQ, it doesn't work. Right. So if you have a product and it makes an AQ plus another AQ, there is no reaction. You would just write NR. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Does it make sense? You could also have, this also could be a liquid. You could also make two solids. Mm -hmm. That happens very rarely, but it, it could happen. Okay. Or so, liquid insulin. Yeah. Now, the key to doing this, to doing this right, this is, this is tedious, scratch is you must pad. have the scratch pad. Without the scratch pad, you'll make mistakes, and mistakes will cause problems. No, no. Always make a scratch pad. Okay? Yeah, do it. All right. No, I'm not even sounding German. That was kind of like Oriental or something. That was weird. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm weird. So, hey, it works. <laughs> okay, here is our first example. So, everybody copy these down. Take your time on this, guys. These are hard. Okay, so let's do this. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is a scratch pad. I think it's a scratch pad. Yeah. But if you do the scratch pad, they're not hard. Yeah. So I have to then write the ions. I've got Na, and I've got uh, Cl, and I've got Ag, and I've got NO3. And now we need to apply a charge to them all. Everybody needs a charge. So I yes. look up in the periodic table, find that sodium has a charge of plus one. That's pretty yep. easy. Mm -hmm. Chloride has a charge of minus, minus one. one. Nitrate has a charge of minus, minus one. one. And silver. Hmm. Plus one. It's plus one. It doesn't say that here. You have to, and it's on the periodic table, it might say it on your periodic table. You probably should put it on there if it isn't. But because nitrate has a charge of minus one, you can figure out the silver's charge. So when we rebuild products on the product side, what are you going to make? The sodium is going to get together with the, the with the nitrate, the other anion. It's not this, Mr. Sams. No. Why not? Because we never put the two positives together. It's always a positive with a negative. You can't put these together because they both have the same charge. The goal is to have the charge add up to zero. zero. So the real answer would be Na 
in O3. Because of, and it's positive one, negative one. So this is an easy one. There's no right. weird charge things. Plus AgCl. AgCl. And we need to figure out which of those, if any, forms a solid. So now let's go look at our table. So we okay. have sodium nitrate. So sodium is down here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to find nitrate. You guys can all get your table out. Nitrate. Right. Sodium yep. nitrate is right there. That Looks one's like it's an aqueous. AQ. I'm going to go back and I'm going to write AQ next to sodium nitrate. AQ. Now I've got to have at least one S or it doesn't work, right? Right. All right, so I go back to my table. So I'm going to find silver chloride. Here's silver, silver one, and then chloride is right here, right? So it's this yep. box, and that so looks like it's solid. An so does that uh, meet our rules? It does. One of the products formed a solid, so the reaction occurs. And then we would go back and balance it. Now it turns out this one is just a one to one to one. We're not going to spend too much time balancing because nope. you learned how We've to do it before. So we'll probably balance pretty quickly in these podcasts or in this podcast. Okay. So that's it. All okay. right, let's do another Next. example. All right, so we have iron three chloride and ammonium nitrate. All right, scratch pad. So, scratch pad, little box, a charge box <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you've got Fe, and then you've got Cl, you've got NH4, and you've got NO3. All right, we'll go back and look at the charges. Oh, mm -hmm. iron's charge, I don't know that charge. Not yet, we'll come back to it. All right, so let's do chloride. What's cool. charge of chloride? Minus one, always. Minus one. And we have three of them, so that's a total of minus three. So shall we do this? No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out what charge of iron why is. Did, why did I not? Wait a second. When I wrote Cl, I didn't write Cl3. We're not concerned about that. We're just concerned about the individual ions because we're going to go back and balance the equations later. It's very important, guys. When you write the ions in the charge box, you only write one ion. Do not write multiple ions. Does that make sense? Do not put the three there. It's just Cl. Mm -hmm. And on the periodic table, chloride has a charge of minus one. Right, but since we have three in the compound, that means the iron is a plus three. This actually gives us the clue as to the charge of the iron. Mm -hmm. If since there are three chlorides, each minus one, that adds up to minus three. That means the charge of the iron is plus three. And we need to know that. There you go. The nitrate is minus, minus one, one from the up. periodic table, and ammonium is a polyion with positive one. Okay. All right, so let's remake this. So, so iron was with chloride, so iron is going to go with nitrate. Yes, he's going to connect. This is our connection right here. So it'll be Fe. Now we've got a positive 3 and negative 1, so mm -hmm. it'll be NO3. 3. 3. Plus? Plus 1 minus 1. That's easy. Just put NH4. them together. NH4. Cl. Now what do we need to do? Now we need to go look on the table and see table if nine. any of those form a solid. So here's iron 3. Mm -hmm. And what am I looking for? Nitrate or chloride? Or nitrate. Or nitrate. Nitrate. Nitrate, nitrate. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So aqueous. Aqueous. Okay. All right. Aq. All right. So iron three nitrate is aqueous. Okay. And then ammonium chloride. Ammonium would be at the top. We're pretty uh -huh. close. And then chloride is right aqueous. there. Aqueous. Aqueous. Okay. okay. So, so I go right back, back here nitrate. and I write aqueous. Wait. Oh. They're both aqueous. 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 No reaction. Hey. No reaction. We did all that work and we got no reaction. Yep. Yeah, too bad, guys. That's how it's done. Okay. Next. If you can figure out how to do this and you see that, oh, they're both aqueous before you do all this mathy stuff, go for it. Figure it out. Yeah, it'll save you some work. Okay. Let's